An organic vineyard in East Sussex has produced the first English red wine to claim an international award. Settlescombe Vineyard beat more than 50 rivals from across the globe to win an international organic wine award for its Regent Red. So for the latest in our food chain series, our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has been looking at whether or not the South East wine growers are now starting to rival some of the more established world-renowned vineyards. Feeding the vines, organic compost to dress the earth and give this year's grapes a boost. With the season running three weeks late, it's nothing like 2011, when the crop was to be transformed into an international winning wine. Uh, the difference between them, um, basically the grapes now aren't fully formed, as you can see, um, and like up uh, 2011, they were coming up to fully formed because uh, we had an early season. But now, due to like, the weather and the late season, uh, we're still doing bud rubbing, which is at the bottom of the plant, and the, form, the uh, grapes haven't formed properly. It was all so very different two years ago. And the resulting wine has set a record, the first red in England to win an international award. We knew we had a good wine, even when we first picked the grapes back in um, October 2011. Uh, just because the sugar levels were just so high. I mean, I don't know if you remember much about 2011, but it had a, we had a really warm spring, the complete opposite to this year. And then in October, we were picking some of the grapes uh, early October in 30 degree heat wave. The summer wasn't brilliant, but overall, it was a fantastic year for this particular wine. The South East is no stranger to good wine now, and many have been ranked alongside the best in the world. But much of it is sparkling. To make a good red is seen as a bigger challenge. It's got a tremendous bouquet. You know, you can, you can got the vanilla, the oak, you've got the fruit, black currants, raspberries, cherries, my favourite fruit. Beautiful. Of course, it doesn't come cheap, at nearly £30 a bottle, and there's not much of it. Great grapes don't often come in large quantities. 